The Wave of Precision uh, was something that I had in mind for a while. Uh, you know, while owning my previous business, my OE business, for uh, 19 years. But uh, unfortunately, I found myself uh, not enjoying what I was doing on a daily basis. You know, I was basically managing a lot of people and uh, not really doing what I love, which is you know working with my hands and, and machining parts. And so I set up Nueva Precision here at my home, um, and we—it's just my wife and I—and and we work on everything with our own hands, and we really enjoy it. You know, every aspect of it. Things were growing, progressing, getting very busy, and we just started talking about the fact that he could really use me in some areas and. Would that work for the two of us? Um, and I think both of us were ready for a change. We were looking for something different. I'd been a teacher for 19 years and was feeling like, you know, maybe it would be time to start helping out at home, building the business, growing the business together. I was first introduced to RegoFix at IMTS 2018. Um, I had made the trip out there specifically to look for a new tool holding system that might address some of the issues I was having in the shop. Uh, number one issue being uh, pull out of my end mills, you know, during aggressive machining. Upon uh, visiting RegoFix in their booth, uh, I was certain that that was going to address my needs. I use the power grip system primarily in heavy roughing situations where there's risk of an end mill pulling out. You know, the, the RegoFix power grip system offers such great retention uh, and it just totally takes care of that for me. I, I don't have any issues or concerns and I can be as aggressive as I'd like uh, when I'm roughing parts. And then secondly, you know, if I have some finish operations where I really want good run out and good finishes on some of these, you know, seven fluid end mills that we're using these days and stuff, uh, I'll, I'll go right to the Regal Fix Power Grip for that, you know, run out and concentricity. It, it's just such an easy system to use. It really is. It's, it's it, you know, for what it's accomplishing and, you know, what it takes to load a tool, it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. I think they've addressed it very well. We're fortunate to be operating in a time here in Colorado where there's just so many different industries and so many great things going on. Um, uh, we do a lot of work for, we do work for automation companies that do automation for pharmaceuticals and food industry. Uh, we do some aerospace work, uh, actually parts that do go up in space. Uh, we've been fortunate to, to work on some of the neat projects there. And uh, we have a customer that works in uh, the UAV industry that does drones and, and work for defense. And, so there's just a, a little bit of everything. It's, it's a great time right now. Nova Precision is unique, being that we're a small company. Uh, we could be really intimate with our, our partners and our customers in uh, solving problems that they may have uh, in their prototyping phases, early stages of production. We partner up with them and their engineers and we, we offer some very cutting edge solutions for them. It has been fun getting into manufacturing. Um, it's something totally different. So after 19 years of being in a classroom, it kind of just sparks your interest, something different every day, something new. Um, there's always that learning curve, but Eddie and I work together really well, so he's real patient with me. As far as the business, and I think it's just gonna continue growing. Um, we're not looking to grow it outside of the two of us, but just maybe fine tuning it, um, working more with specific customers, um, learning more on my end and just expanding within what the two of us are capable of doing within the business. Regofist products, have, they've affected my uh, production processes in the sense that I, I, I could be a lot more aggressive with my roughing, I could let my guard down, I could walk away from the machine knowing that I'm not going to have issues with an end mill pulling out during some heavy roughing. Um, so, you know, I, I got accustomed in the past to having to babysit my, 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 my processes or my machines, you know, during some heavy roughing on some one-off parts, you know, there being a risk of an end mill pulling out or something. But nowadays I'm able to just, you know, write a program, I know what I can get away with and I, I let it rip and it just works awesome.